Okay, snakes. Snakes have been about for years. They used to be called leech patterns um, because in the water they had so much movement, they had that undulating leech type effect. I suppose they came to prominence eight or nine years ago, perhaps 10 years ago, actually at Rutland. Um, a guy from Scotland caught two double figure browns in a couple of days off the, uh, the top of the Buns Wall at the South Arm. Since then, they came sort of mainstream. Everybody started using snakes and they were popular. The craze sort of died out. Um, and then for five or six years, they weren't really used by many people. Um, they lost favor. They're now back in favor. And I have to say, if you cannot get a response on a snake, I don't think there's many fish there. If, if the fish want to chase and if they're on lures, the snake is your number one go-to fly. Today, once this burns off, once the cloud burns off, we're going to be out and we're going to be fishing snakes. And I would say the best method is a roly-poly. Now, obviously with a slow roly-poly, the fish tend to nip. When you speed the roly-poly up, um, they tend to lock up and it's a more positive, aggressive take. So you start off slow with the roly-poly and you put in little spurts, just like a fish darting, trying to escape. And it's sometimes the change of speed that induces the take as well as the movement in the fly. There are lots of sizes. Now, again, when we first started using snakes, they were all quite large. Now we're going down to smaller and smaller sizes because you still get the movements and you still catch big fish on small flies. I would say my favorite pattern is a five centimeter white and green snake or a black and gold snake. There's probably not a better pattern for fry feeders or just general resident fish on a still water. Now, I think the best time for snakes is probably in the summer months when they're willing to chase. However, because you can fish them at such slow speeds and you get movement, they work all year round. Especially in the colder winter months, I would say that a booby snake, you know, with the foam eyes, it's got all the advantages of a booby, but it's just got more movement. So it is a pattern that I will fish all year and is very successful all year. Um, again, the booby snake, if you're fishing in very shallow water across the weed beds or on the weed bed that drops into deeper water, you can literally pop it across, causing disturbance, pulling fish up, and I say the takes quite dramatic, and I say we'll be trying that again today.